All right, guys. So today I want to talk about why I use Octoprint with my MPCNC. And a lot of the times what guys don't think about is how what your workflow is going to look like with the MPCNC. You know, it's all kind of a DIY kit. There's no, um, you know, there's no uh, company or anything that kind of gives you your workflow like a uh, Shapoko would or anything or an X-Carve. So uh, everyone has their own workflow and I just want to kind of share mine today. I, I got the printers going here, or one printer, and I use Octoprint for both of them. So it only makes sense to use Octoprint for the CNC. It, it's just what I'm comfortable with. It's what I'm used to. Uh, I showed this in my other video, but I've got the CNC or the uh, Raspberry Pi right here talking to the main control board. It's a full-size Rambo. And so I have a quick uh, test here that I just want to kind of go over, show you my workflow, show you where the G-code files live, and how my workflow uh, kind of works. With the printers, I've got it pretty much streamlined where I can just you know design a, a print or download something off Thingiverse. I don't really have to think about it very much. I just... I just uh, you know throw it in Simplify 3D and hit go basically. So I I wanted the same kind of workflow for the CNC. I know it's not um, as simple as you know hitting start on a printer, but I wanted to get as close as possible. So I'll show you my workload real quick. Sorry to move the camera around so much, but what I've got here is I've got the router off and I've got the drag knife on there right now. And I've got a wedding coming up. I'm actually getting married on Saturday, but I've got the drag knife on there, so I've been doing some, uh, some making some gifts right now. And I thought it'd be a good time to show you my workflow here. So I, I typically work in Fusion. Uh, actually, I'd say I almost always work in Fusion, unless I'm doing some fancy laser stuff, which Fusion doesn't doesn't work very well. So I've got a simple square. It's a four inch by four inch square and I'm in the manufacturer tab here and I've already made a setup and I've already made a profile and I've actually used the uh, the cutting tool path here and I'm not going to get into this too much there's a million videos of you know how to make tool paths and all that but what I do here is I'll do a quick simulate and then I'll hit play so you can see the tool itself go around I just want to make sure it's doing what I want it to. It's turning red. Don't really know why. It doesn't really matter. And so what I'll do here is just do a post process. And I've got a post processor here. One for lasering and one for routing. So it just kind of depends how the G-codes are laid out. So I'm uh, lasering or cutting. So I'm going to do the laser one. And then i got to make sure my units are in millimeters because that's just what the Rambo board uh, supports it. Uh, and then that's it, just hit post. So what I'll do here, I've got a G-code file folder, I'll just do, do test, one, two, three, four. And then that's, so that's my G-code file, right? Pretty simple. Then I will head over to my browser, and this is what I use to talk to uh, the printer. I got Octoprint set up. So I'll go ahead and hit connect. And I put the uh, V1 Engineering logo here, and just to make sure I know I'm talking to the uh, MPCNC and not the uh, the printer or anything. Uh, what I like to do here is I'll just pull up the CR10 real quick. When I pull up the CR10, I've got an image of the CR10 on the background, and you can see, you know, stats and all that. But just to, it's just an obvious, you know, indicator of what Pi you're talking to. So. So what I like to do here is pull up my file browser, test 1234G code, and just bring it on over. Okay? And then that will upload here. There it is, test 1234. And then I've got my tablet here I'll bring over. And this is going to be kind of funky to set up. But first, I've got to home the machine. So I'll go ahead and pull out of the way the clamps. And I'll get it close to the end stops here. 
and you know out of the way of the clamps and then I will look at my Pi here or my tablet I'll go ahead and I'll go over to NPCNC and then since I'm already close to home I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have the machine come all the way from the right corner come all the way in I just kinda move the gantry over and then I will home the x-axis and I'll hit my end stops alright so now we're square and then what I like to do here is change my travel distance to 10 and then I'll bring this over and then I'll bring it up now typically what I do is I would uh, zero the z-axis as well and you know there's a lot of different ways to do that I typically just use a piece of paper to bring it down I'm not gonna do that right now just want to show you the, the workflow here but now you can see I've got test one two three four on my on my uh, tablet here so what I'll do now is I've got two custom buttons in the upper left and upper right here upper left is just zero the z-axis but I want to zero all axes and tell this to be home so I will hit my other custom button are you sure you want to zero all axes yes so now I've just sent the G28 command to the printer or to the control board now I'm ready to hit enter or hit go and then I just hit my little print button right here Alright, that should come up. And then I think it goes back to the home position. Yes, it does. And I, that's just part of the ending script in the G code. So, and then on the, my screen here, it just says finishing. And that's pretty much it. And then ready for the next print. So, um, if you had the router on the gantry, it'd be the same way. You would just home the home the uh, tool, and the, or zero the tool, I should say. And then line it up, and then hit go on your tablet. Um, I do have a keypad here that I made from mechanical keyboard switches that will OTG into the tablet. And then I can use my up, down, left, right. I uh, just haven't quite, I don't know, finished this yet. I really need a more permanent solution for the tablet and the control board here. But for now, the tablet works okay. And uh, yeah, just want to kind of show the workflow here uh, and then if I ever need to go back to old g-code files I've got everything that lives on here so uh, you know it works for me and I just want to kind of share this with everyone to give anyone ideas or uh, see if uh, anyone can can take anything from this so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I'm, I'm pretty active here on YouTube so uh, feel free to subscribe if you want and uh, Thanks for watching.